And he says, to this day, I have had the help that comes from God. And so I stand here testifying both to small and great, saying nothing but what the prophets and Moses said would come to pass, that the Christ must suffer. And that by being the first to rise from the dead, he would proclaim light both to our people and to the Gentiles. Paul, you're crazy, man. You're out of your mind. Our friend Festus. What a joy killer, eh? This man's just preaching the sermon of his life. And, and Festus comes with this thing. But you see, Paul didn't shrink back. He kept at it. I mean, if you read his sermon, and he's trying all his best to have this man come to faith in Christ. He's not being prejudiced about Agrippa or Bernice. He's not hurt by the circumstances. You hear no bitterness in his words. He understands what I have been tapping on all morning. That God has written the script. That you have a, pl a part to play to the best of your abilities. Because at, uh, at the end of the day, it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good 